I'm just heading out on a fossil hunting trip along the Jurassic coast with Mark and Luke there. We're heading out to look for fossils on a really beautiful day, heading out from Lyme Regis, going west along towards Pinay Bay. Just out here in Pinay Bay, and uh, Luke's found a nice Nautilus just up ahead here. And uh, you can see the keel of the, the Nautilus, the back of the Nautilus protruding out of the It's really been quite far up today, washing up against the mudslides. It's always nice to see these chunks of ammonite that wash down onto the shoreline. Part of uh, a big Eriotites ammonite. There's some uh, fisherman's tackle, a lower washed up on the shoreline. I'll take that back. Get that out of the way. There's Mark and Luke heading down into Pinay Bay looking for fossils. Here are some Rochelaria. They look like little ammonites. They look like small ammonites, but they're not. There is Luke and Mark searching the Jurassic coast for fossils. There's some good areas down here in amongst the rock pools to find iron pyrites ammonites, the ones preserved beautifully in fool's gold. I'll go and have a look for those now with you. You can see a nice rainbow out there. And I'm looking down towards Golden Cap and the Lime Regis Cobb, the historic harbour. And I've stopped right the way up here towards Seven Rocks Point because uh, I'm hunting in amongst the iron pyrites, the fool's gold patches on the beach. And where you see this golden metallic material in between rocks, it's worth having a push around in the material. The iron pyrites is heavy. The ammonites formed in iron pyrites are heavy. So it's really worth a go where you see any of this metallic material there you go, there's a nice little one just hidden there in that crevice. That ammonite there is preserved in the fool's gold. Just give it a, a wipe in that seawater. When I get home I'll put them in fresh water, soak the salt out of them. What a fantastic evening here along the Jurassic Coast. Walking down towards Lyme Regis now we are. And I'll show you at the end of the video the wonderful Ammonite graveyard and a rock breaking video. Luke found a really nice nodule with some Ammonites in. So I'll put that in at the end of the video. So keep watching. Here's the Ammonite graveyard. A protected spot for everyone to come and look at. The Ammonites are wearing away with the action of the attrition of 
the sand and sea. So next up I'll put a rock breaking video of Luke tapping open a really nice ammonite from a nodule. Luke's been down here on holiday and uh, he's got a nice find 